This is Twit. So, uh, what I was originally going to talk about, but I'm happy we started with uh, the essential first, is kind of this. We've suddenly have this influx of Pixel news, which I'm a, I'm a Pixel XL owner. Uh, Kevin, you've got the Pixel. Do you have the the bigger one or the the smaller one? Oh, oh, the big one. Yeah, yeah, the XL. You, you've got the XL. Oh, wow. So, so the rumors had been up until now, we've been hearing little bits here and there that there were going to be not one, not two, but three Pixel phones. It was going to be the the next generations of the ones we have and then a much larger one or something. I, I got confused. It's all rumory. It doesn't really matter, I suppose, when it's in the rumor world. Um, but apparently, <clears throat> excuse me, Android Police is pretty darn confident that the successor to the Pixel XL is actually not happening uh, the code name Musky. I love their code names for these phones. <laughs> the fish. Uh, it's a fish, right? All around fish. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, in its place, they're going to opt for the even larger Pixel than the XL. So maybe the double XL or whatever they're going to end up calling it. So, and I, I don't, I don't understand. I, I don't get it. So the Pixel XL right now, the 2016, which is what I have, is uh, 5.5 inches. So I, I would think that that would be a good kind of, you know, that's a decent size to go with the sequel. From what I understand from this, and correct me if I'm wrong, Ron, is that they're not going to be replacing this size with a sequel. They're going to be replacing this size with a with a larger one. Is that right? That's, that, that's the rumor. Yeah, that, that, that it's going to be a larger uh, version of it. It's going to be a next gen. Um, and there's also a bunch of other rumors about the chipsets as well. Is that the, did you see that yeah. hiring announcement? Yeah. Oh so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, lot, lots of pixel rumors. We're in the, we're in the pre pixel announcement rumor mode, right? <laughs> we are. Yeah, it, yeah. We've done this. We've done this enough, you know, a number of years now to the point to where we know the, the phases that we've gone into. Yep. And now that we're in summertime, <laughs> it's like leading up to Google hardware time for the next couple of months. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a number of, 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 uh, things leaking, around this one of them is that the successor will be larger but that it'll be a narrower um screen ratio so similar to what we see with the samsung galaxy s8 s8 yep. plus it's a larger screen but you know it's it's taller essentially and narrower uh less bezel hmm. of course because everybody's going less bezel and that was what, a main what? that was a big complaint that people had about the pixel uh is that it was a it was a it loved its bezels at least at the top and bottom, and and what what do I always say, Jason? The the, the future is bezelless. Yes, so, I, I yeah. don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> bezel never bothered me. I don't know, Kevin. You've lived with this device. Did the did the top and bottom bottom bezels ever ever stick out to you sorely? Um, well, I, pref I preferred it when I had one that was black around the edges rather than white. But this was the one that they had in stock, so I've got the one that's white. But um, <laughs> you know, there's this there's, there's dead space there. Yeah, there's dead so space. I could, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, no, no, I, could, I could, I could use, you know, use a bit less space and and have be more useful. But you've still got the challenge of what you do with, with to do where you put the cameras when you when you shrink the bezel. So exactly. Yeah. Well, and I mean, if you take a look at what <laughs> what Essential did, they just notched out the display. They were like, yeah, well, the the camera's going to go there. We'll <laughs> just put the display around it in a little U shape. <laughs> I think it looks a little right. weird. Ron, you, you I love see it. it. I love it. I think it's great. The weirder, the better. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so that's gonna that's gonna that's work for that. What's up, Kevin? As long as you're like, something you're trying to read isn't under it. You know, that's the... Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the questions well, that I have, right? It's it's right up there in the notification pane. It, is that going to require some sort of custom, like, work? You know what I mean? Like, you can't, you can't yeah. have your notifications uh, hidden because the notch is taken out and the OS doesn't recognize that. I'm sure they'll have that figured out, but... Yeah. I, I got to imagine they're smart enough to figure that out for whatever reason. But yeah. um, no, but I, I, I happen to, I mean, like, so if the essential phone hadn't come out, I was eyeing the Pixel as my next phone. Um, and I was in that mode of, am I going to wait for the Pixel 2 or not? And, and maybe wait till the Pixel 2 gets announced and get the Pixel at a cheaper price, yeah. like that sort of thing. But um, I, I got to admit, from the, the few times I've seen the new Samsung Galaxy phone, I like the longer, thinner style one. I think the I think the fat big version is like I I I, I don't know it's something about the long Samsung phone that I think that's a good uh, aspect ratio for phones moving forward and yes it's hard to get your thumb all the way down to the top but so you two hand it you know like it's not the end of the world um, but then usually I fall for the you know the five and a half inch kind of size the smaller size phone anyway so I doubt right. I'd even buy either of them so it doesn't really matter but yeah I do I do I do like the longer version. I would agree. I would agree. Actually, I would. I would not be. And and we saw that from the six. Like I had the, 
the six before the six P, which was fatter than this one. And I mean, you couldn't even you couldn't even reach across to the other side of the screen with one hand. It was definitely a, a two handed thing. <laughs> I've, I've definitely yeah. noticed the slimmer they're getting, even though they're they're increasing the screen size. They're able to kind of maximize the size of the device around the display, make it a little slimmer so it's easier to use with one hand, uh, but still have kind of the overall size and, and dimension of the phone um, one handable. You know what I mean? Uh, it's bigger, but it's not because they're reducing right. the bezels. So, um, so there's that trend that is apparently potentially going to come to this rumored Pixel uh, sequel. Uh, four gigs of RAM, octa-core CPU, uh, which Snapdragon 835 is is what's expected there. Um, and, I mean, other things. Let's see here. What, what was the next one? LG is uh, is apparently potentially going to be working on this device. We With the previous, with the Pixel that we have now, it was made by Google. But then when you really got under the hood, you realize it was made by Google with HTC support. And apparently that's going to go in the direction of LG this time instead of HTC. Very curious about that. Why do you guys think that might be? Any, 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 uh, I don't know, wild guesses? I mean, historically they flip back and forth between the different, um, you know, builders, haven't they? They've, the, 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 the yep. what'd you call it? The Nexus was LG, wasn't it? At least one of them was. Oh yeah, they had. Yeah, a couple, yeah, yeah. No, the, Nexus, the Nexus Five was LG. The wasn't legendary it? My, Nexus. Yeah. My favorite phone of all yeah. time. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, uh, but but I mean, I think with the with the Pixel universe, um, you know, Google really wanted to make a statement and say, well, this these aren't deals that we're making with anyone else. These are our phones. Like they want to put they want to pull an Apple right. and be like, we're doing this all in house. 